الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على مبعوث رحمة العالمين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to uh, today's message in this great month of Ramadan May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepting our fasting and our qiyam and our good deeds done in this great month inshallah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helping us uh, to increase our good deeds in this great month of Ramadan. Uh, today's message it's uh, about the uh, ruling of uh, making uh, salat behind uh, TV or uh, radio or any of the uh, social uh, devices. Uh, this question actually uh, raised in uh, in these uh, days because of coronavirus and as you know um, uh, most or you can say all of the masajid all over the world uh, are closed so there is no uh, opportunity for uh, Muslims to perform taraweeh prayer same as before and this also showing us subhanallah uh, that sometimes we miss some things and we don't know its value until we missing it before nobody even imagined that the taraweeh will be stopped in any masjid but subhanallah subhanallah this is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showing us that anything can be changed any time by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So uh, in this uh, uh, current situation of the coronavirus, uh, uh, some people saying, uh, why not we uh, perform the taraweeh prayer uh, uh, after or behind the TV or radio or whatever is it uh, accepted in Islam or not uh, some people said uh, can be accepted with some conditions okay and I will talk about it later but actually the majority of the scholars of Islam said it's not accepting at all not accepting for any person to pray behind radio or TV or whatever why? because uh, there are many reasons our uh, great scholars they mentioned they said number one it's not the same place the person who is praying in that uh, uh, on the TV for example or radio whatever he is not in the same place you are and uh, it's one important condition for the uh, prayer to be in one place for example uh, we are praying in masjid so we are praying in one place even our uh, prayers is uh, 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 videoed by, by someone but a third person, for example, in his house cannot pray with us because we are not in the same place. This one, one, one condition. Another condition also, uh, they said, if a person uh, uh, is neighbor to masjid, can he pray even he can hear? He can hear the, uh, the voice of the imam. Can he pray? They said uh, he can pray in one condition if if uh, there is some connection between his place and the masjid or some connection between his place and the people may pray outside of the masjid. But if separated they said it's not accepted. So this is actually the opinion of the majority of the scholars that this uh, type of salat is not accepted. Uh, 
some 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 of them or some ulama uh, uh, they said because of this uh, current situation uh, we can do it but actually this opinion uh, there is uh, it's not strong and having no uh, uh, strong dalil to support it so alhamdulillah it's a, a good opportunity for us to uh, pray in our houses if we don't have a chance to pray taraweeh in masjid why not to pray in your house uh, why not to uh, practice to recite al-quran uh, uh, during your prayer by yourself uh, before you always uh, praying behind the imam and listening this time why you not praying in your house by your family as an imam for your family and uh, reciting for them by yourself and uh, the prophet muhammad وسلم, he said in the hadith that the best uh, prayer for a man Af, uh, uh, after the fard prayer to pray in his house it means for fard prayer of course you have to pray in masjid and this is the best but for other prayers including taraweeh it's better if you can pray in your house and especially in this current situation when the salat taraweeh is not available to be done in many masjids so in this time you can pray by your family as an imam and uh, at that time also you can use mushaf during your recitation because you are not half of al-quran and uh, uh, may be difficult for you you can pray of course by the short surahs by any surahs you memorized but if it is uh, not available for you or you need you need to be uh, reading or reciting more you can use al-mushaf uh, and Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha she used to pray behind uh, one slave and this slave he was not hafiz he used to uh, use the mushaf when he uh, leading the taraweeh prayer for uh, Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha so inshallah it's accepted to use the mushaf during the prayer the Hanafi uh, people uh, actually they uh, uh, don't accept using mushaf uh, in in the salat taraweeh uh, or whatever uh, because they said the using mushaf will make a person make a lot of movements during the salat but uh, there is one rule also important in sharia any movements a person done for the benefiting of the salat it's accepted this one rule important so inshallah you can use mushaf uh, during your salat in the taraweeh in your house may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepting and helping us inshallah and uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh see you inshallah in the next message